Hi, Deb here, and I'm here to talk about President Kennedy. November 22nd uh, this year was the 60th anniversary of his death. Um, not going to talk about his death, though. I'm going to talk about his life. This president, this president, <laughs> this doll, you, if you've been with me a while, you saw in my FMB president's uh, doll video, this president was uh, featured. And in my PT109 video, which I will link, this G.I. Joe was listed or featured. I don't know where his dog tags are. Anyway, if you want to see about this one, it's in my PT109. I will link it. And we have, I have four. So this one is from the Talking Presidents. And you push a little button and he talks, but I don't have batteries, so. But I will get some batteries and see if we can get him talking because it's his actual voice, not just somebody talking, speaking like him. So this is from the Talking Presidents. I forget the year, but it's really cool. Pinstripe suit. It's, it's not a bad likeness either. But my prize John Kennedy doll is this one from 1963. It's um, from, okay, here's the label. It's called Living Dolls, JFK and the Rocking Chair from Kamar Incorporated. At the end, I'm going to wind this up and pray that it still plays. Uh, he's supposed to be holding a newspaper. I don't have that. He read six newspapers with breakfast. I think he had a photographic memory because it was either a speed reader or a photographic memory. But I think he remembered everything he read. Uh, okay. John Kennedy was born May 29, 1917 in Brookline, Massachusetts, one of nine children. He was sickly. He had asthma, Addison's disease. He had scarlet fever. He was skinny, <laughs> but he just persevered. Um, he went to Harvard, and in 1936, I believe, he ruptured his a disc in his spine. The Addison's disease caused him a great deal of pain, and then that just added to it. And then PT-109, he uh, when the boat was rammed, they were in the water, I forget how many hours, shark-infested flaming water. One of his crewmen was so injured that he couldn't swim, so JFK put his life jacket in his teeth and swam four hours to save that man. So he saved his crew. He was a genuine hero. But that added to his back problems. Um, let's see. He joined, joined the Navy. Well, oh, there went a boot. He joined the Navy in 1940. PT-109 happened in uh, 1943. He was served three terms in Congress, and then he joined the Senate. He wrote a book called Profiles in Courage <clears throat> that was all about senators who stood up and did something brave, even though they knew it would cost them their Senate seat. Every senator, every member of Congress should have to read that book. But I've read it twice. <laughs> it was that good. So Profiles in Courage. He won the uh, Pulitzer Prize for that book in 1957. He's the youngest elected president at age 43. Um, let's see. He launched the space program. It had kind of started under uh, Eisenhower, but it didn't have much um, teeth. So he got really got behind the space program. He created the Peace Corps, run by his uh, brother-in-law, Sergeant Shriver, another brilliant man. Um, he's, he began work on the Civil Rights Act, uh, the Alliance for Progress, pollution control, anti-poverty legislation. He got the Equal Pay Act, 1963, passed. 
um, a lot of that, it, it didn't, some of it did not get completed, but President Johnson got it through. God bless him. Um, this was an amazing man who lived a very short life, but changed the world forever. And sadly, his death changed America forever, I think. I don't remember a lot of that. I was five, but um, I do remember him. I remember him, he's so handsome like, on TV, and I remember he spoke funny because I'd never heard anybody from New England with an accent. And and I knew that my my family adored him, so I knew he was special just because of that. Um, my mother didn't cry. She wasn't a crying person. <laughs> so, She's not like me, <laughs> so, uh, but she cried when he died. I think she got through everything, but then they took his rocking chair out, and uh, she could. That's when she lost it. So, okay. Speaking of rocking chair, we're gonna wind it up and please play. Oh, it doesn't play anymore. Well, it used to play Happy Days Are Here Again because that it was kind of the Democratic Party um, theme song. I think that started with Franklin Roosevelt. But anyway, it used to play Happy Days Are Here Again, so darn, it doesn't play anymore. Oh well, I'm still very glad I've got this. I hope you like, uh, did I, oh, Cuba Missile Crisis. That's the most important thing I, well, you can't say that. Uh, Bobby Kennedy wrote a book called 13 Days. I read a lot. It's the only book I read straight through. It's that good. 13 Days. It's about the Cuban Missile Crisis. And this world almost came to nuclear disaster. And Bobby and JFK kept that from happening. So I don't care if you like him or not. You should be grateful for what he did. Uh, let's see. I think that's everything I wanted. Oh, his quote, the most famous one. Ask not what your country can do for you. Ask what you can do for your country. Still true today. So I hope you like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram. And until next time, toodles.